Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to unbox the Rigid 2 and an 8th inch Brad Nailer. Again, like I said, it's by Rigid. I decided to get for this time the 18 gauge since I'm going to be using uh, smaller wood or trim to, to uh, nail. Now what I would recommend that you do if you are using it for like shoe molding or trim up in the air, um, crown in other words, I would suggest you get the 16 gauge gun which i will get but for now i'm going to use this one so a couple of reasons why i got rigid first and foremost is their lifetime guarantee or lifetime service agreement that is something that none of the other companies do at least to my knowledge and i have a lot of friends who have rigid and when their stuff has gone wrong or there's an issue they never get any issues returning it getting it fixed or anything they are very good at honoring their lifetime service agreement but in order for you to do it you have to do this part registration is required okay so now that we covered that out the way this is the new one as you can say here see here new nuevo nuevo right um so the next thing i want to talk about is the item number this is r213 b n f um the SKU is 1003-108-230 they do sell another one that is the same except the 230 ends in 231 i think it's a, just a smaller bit of a uh brand nailer in other words what it can hold in it right so that's the main difference of it all right so Next thing I'll show you is just take you around on a tour. Here's the side of it. Here's the back of it. Um, as you can tell right here, that's the back of it. it looks pretty good. Um, let's look at a little bit of what it says on here. Start at the top. Number one, tool free selectable trigger. Number two, semi transparent magazine door, which is nice. Oilless motor, which is great. Um, dry fire lock feature. That's cool tool free jam cleaning which means that the front of it actually pulls down and you can do things with it i like that part side loading magazine with bypass pusher uh no mark pad so basically the tip when it hits and you push it down and it goes in there's no issue it doesn't leave a mark lastly we're going to talk about the hex grip so in other words ergonomic right it's a little bit more ergonomic um what's in it, what's included in this is the actual 18 inch gauge brad nailer the swivel quick connect installed already 200 fasteners two replacement no mar pads which are the little tip a tool bag and as well as a thing that we will automatically throw away that is it people or that is what i mean by that people is the operator's manual we don't need it we'll figure it out all right so let's move up here now it says clean drive technology 17 times more consecutive perfect drives 3750 nails I guess it's pretty good compared to competitor A and competitor B. Now, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that maybe competitor B is Hitachi or I forget the name, then the name of the new com company. They rebanded the Metabo or something like that. And then competitor B looks yellow. So I'm going to go with DeWalt. Okay. So here it talks about, about the uh, clean drive. It says it's a passer um just it, it just talks about it you know so if you want to look at it just check it out read it i don't understand that language so i won't attempt to do it okay all right so let's keep turning here's that side right here we'll flip it this way there you go you got that lifetime guarantee a picture of the brad nailer uh tells you a little bit of the, about the things you can do with it uh, a little bit of what we talked in the back the free oil ring free piston stops free driver blades for life ain't that something all right but again i can't emphasize if you want to get these benefits of the rigid tool you have to log in and you have to register yes you're giving away your digital information but it's worth it because lifetime service agreement can't emphasize enough about that so we'll flip it on this side and then it just kind of gives you the warranty right here, three-year warranty, lifetime warranty, service agreement. So you kind of get an idea. Here's rigid.com. Here's a phone number. If you don't have a computer, you can call them. Um, specifications a little bit more. So that's nice to show. Um, so that's it right there. So let's go ahead and start opening this up and see what we have. We'll go from there. Okay, so let's see. It's pretty quickly unboxed right here. We just pull that side up. Pull that down. Open that up. 
there's the package let's go ahead and take it out all right we'll go ahead and close this box up all right put that to the side here's the box nice nylon of course the rigid colors very nice can't complain there very durable feels good um, let's see how you open this thing up it's a zipper so we unzip it all right let's see what comes in here first thing that pops out is going to be cardboard oh no we'll pop this gun out and everything let's pull it out Ooh, wish they made it easier to get out oh those are the the brown nailers themselves so let's go ahead and take it out all right that comes out you sure as heck don't make this easy to unbox i'll tell you that so there's the bag we'll put that to the side here's that piece of cardboard that was keeping it in there good all right so everything slid back down so we'll put it to the side put that to the side here's the operator's manual here's the rigid pneumatic fastener guide all right well this i won't read this maybe this definitely not all right so we'll chunk that comes in a nice here's those uh, nails that i was talking about all right it comes packaged well so let's check it out all right there we go take the plastic out now i got the straight one as you can see that is the actual straight one because i didn't want the angle one angle ones are usually good for when you're up in the air and you're putting in crown molding or something i'm not going to be doing that so i just decided to go with the the straight one here and instead of the angled one i think it'll be just fine okay a um, couple things that it got it's got this little thing right here i guess danger here's the one thing i like about it. it moves easily very fluid very fluid um here's the casing here's a little if you want to go from bump stock to you know multiple whichever way you want to go to it just pull up and switch it pull back switch it all right give you a, deep, a tour of this so i'll put it down let you look at it zoom in if you want to here's the first side of it here's the back of it all right we'll take this off right here i don't think we need it here ah we'll take it off later but there it is right there here's the other side of it let you see it right there there you go zoom in for a couple minutes if you want to here's that clear kind of clear smoky plastic case and finally here's the front of it here's that plastic piece it was talking about again i'll let you see this side one more time all right and the last thing i'll show you is the clip to hang it on your belt moves pretty good there we go there we go i like that a lot it's pretty good no complaints there all right all right all right and it says right here what kind of gun it is 18 gauge brad nailer all right these go in here. I'll show you all that here in a few minutes, but for now, I just wanted to show you this quick unboxing, and then we'll start shooting it into some wood to see how it works. All right, be back in a second. All right, everybody, we got it unpacked. We're going to look at it. My father-in-law's building a, uh, a drawer for a cabinet, so just quick thing. This is the depth standard. This is the actual mechanism to let you do multiple at one time or single. So this is multiple, this is single. So I'm only doing single, so let's go ahead and put it in. I've already set the depth better. So let's go ahead and see how it goes. There you go. One more and we'll call it a day. There you go. Nice and smooth, sinks it in. The good thing about this is, is making sure you have the, the tip here. And if, if you ever run out of a tip, I'll give you another tip. A tip on a tip. You have two more right here that you can use as extras. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Thank mm -hmm. you. 